visiting Port Alegre is not just getting to know new sites, but discovering new perspectives. It is a city constructed collectively by distinct people and cultures, influences that build upon themselves throughout its history and through coexistence. Varied and multifaceted, the sum of diverse layers of memories and architecture, it also is a place that has become used to joyfully welcoming foreigners, a fact that is confirmed by the symbolism of its name. This tradition of welcoming newcomers derives from the values of the Gaoshu, a historical figure which are characterized by love for the land, resulting from the mixture of cultures among the native Indians and the Spanish and Portuguese immigrants ever since the days of the shaping of South America. Their clothing, customs, history and familiarity with horses and farm work continue alive in the city's day-to-day -day experiences in harmony with its vocation from vanguard and innovation. Porto Alegre is the main capital of southern Brazil and is the economic, political and cultural center of 31 satellite cities. It is the home of 23 university institutions and has become a model city in terms of technological and scientific research in various fields of study. Yet, Porto Alegre is also a natural wonder. Its most prominent geographical feature is Lake Guaiba, a vast stretch of fresh water that surrounds the city. There are 73 kilometers of short lines taken advantage of for leisure and recreational activities by a populace that has a traditional of enjoying outdoor life. It also is a green city, possessing one tree for each inhabitant. There are around 1.4 million trees of 173 species along public ways along, besides innumerable parks, public squares and environmental protection areas. Democracy is also one of the highlights of Porto Alegre, which created and hosted the World Social Forum between 2001 and 2005, and the World Conference on the Development of Cities in 2008, welcoming visitors from around the globe. The metropolis earned its place on the international route of large events, hosting innumerable conferences and meetings of all sizes, such as the International Free Software Forum, the World Tourism Forum and the Mercosur Visual Arts Biennale. Culturally rich, Porto Alegre stands out as a production center of theater, music, literature, cinema, and plastic arts. It is the home of cultural centers, over 30 theaters and around 50 museums, besides numerous show houses and art galleries. In Brazil, the soccer homeland, the Gaúcho capital is also proud of being the home of Ronaldinho and Dunga and of having two world champion soccer teams, Sport Club Internacional and Grêmio Football Porto Alegrense, whose rivalry enlivens afternoons in the countless bars and coffee shops of the city. Yet, the city perhaps more clearly reveals the diversity of its culture through its nightlife and gastronomy. 
bars, pubs, coffee shops, and dance halls dispute for the city nightlife with the most varied rhythms and styles. The city offers a wide variety of options capable of satisfying the most diverse tastes, from the most sophisticated to the most unrefined, from the most classic to the most innovative. Tradition and vanguard, urban comfort and natural beauty, history and future, leisure, culture and work. That's how Porto Alegre is, multicultural by nature, a rare place where textures and tonalities vary with the passing of the seasons, hours and inhabitants, which are always welcoming. A city that is marvelous to visit, ready for excellent business ventures, and even better to live in.